Um, my name is Alex Brown, and I'm here to present to you the cell phone holder from an iPhone 5S. And this is my first slide right here. So the main objective of my iPhone, can everybody see? First of all, can everybody see? Can you hear me? All right. Main objective for the um, cell phone holder was to um, make an um, iPhone, iPhone holder that would be stable and, you know, that would be affordable if I really wanted to put it on the market. The main kicker about it, like, is, like, what, uh, what is the design about? <sighs> Boom. Design about is a cell phone case holder for the iPhone 5 where, as if, like, you want to video chat. Oh, it's right here. If you like the video chat, then you put your phone in there and resist, um, well, no, resist. It don't resist the holding of cell phone, but it make it more easier to, like, video chat, and it'll be less, less work on your hands. Uh, I'm trying to, get, trying to get it together right here so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. So, there's a um, cell phone holder. If you want to pass that around, that's not the whole thing, but the cell phone case holder that I wanted to design for my iPhone 5, which is right here. The whole reason me designing the project is to hold my phone so it's not it's not the weight of the phone which hurts your hand it's like the position of how you hold it and that really cramps your hand up a lot so the reason being for making that um is to make the video chat like more easy to use like you know less pain in your arms and all that um, third bullet why did i choose it is like like I was saying that the first I mean the second bullet is I was um my girlfriend go to college away and I would like always like FaceTime her video chat you know and I would always have to hold the phone like to my face and you know that can get a little bit tiring and exhausting like I said it's not the way to the phone it's the way how you hold your hand and then your elbow will be hurting so that's the more that's the main reason why I made that is to like reduce the holding of the phone. Uh, my next slide. The pros and cons about the thing. Um, the pros and cons about the holder and with this iPhone case is that uh, the holder have this little clamp right here that I show you all guys. You know. The main reason for the clamp is the to um, adjust height and basically grip of the phone. Like you put the phone in the um, the case holder, attach it to the clamp with this fasten bolt right here. You can put it together if you like to. Fasten bolt and nut. You know, you clamp it onto the table. And yeah, that's a clamp that we use um, for, that I got from a fan that I bought from Walmart. And the reason that I, well, basically, the more the reason that I made this project. The pros and cons about this device is that um, this case is more, I, I'll say like thinner, it'll be more 
easier to like carry around and it's probably like lighter but mine with mines you can like uh put it on the table clamp it clamp it to the desk and like if somebody walked past and hit the, the table it wouldn't like fall because it had the little clamp to like clamp the desk so it won't like it's sturdy like with that if somebody walked past and they're using their phone and you like brush the desk they'll fall over if say for instance you spill something on the table it'll probably wet your phone with mines it won't this is my uh gantt chart for my cell phone holder about how did i um manage my time for the design for the design sketch i was um I completed all of that, like, to the way I manage my time is like, I get my enough time to like finish all of it. Uh, for my design sketch, I was in here brainstorming what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. For the planning of the design, it's like, let me see how to explain it. The way I planned it, it was like, I brainstormed what I wanted to do and how did I wanted to do it. For the design draft, it's like when I printed it out, I printed it out, um, a, what is it, a duplicate or a copy and to see if it'll work and would it fit and like what do I need to change. And that's when I started drawing it on CAD. Same thing for the handle. The material is, I didn't get enough um I didn't get enough material from from like Walmart and stuff like that. I didn't get the bomb because it was no sense of reason to bond and because I was using the maker bot and that's how I got my material. That's where I got my material from. I used the PLA plastic. That's my CAD drawing right there. On the handle of the um the cell phone holder that's actually the case right there with the dimensions for the testing and analyzer the analyzation um, is like when I first, the first thing I made sure, the, the first thing I made sure about testing my um, stuff is like I made sure the buttons would be able to fit in the holes and you know the clamp would be attached to the, um, the table and it won't move like it won't shake. I wouldn't let the phone fall. I wouldn't fail. Uh, with the with the phone case, I had put my phone in it, and I had did like a a four feet test fall, four feet test drop, or whatever you want to call it, to see if it's like you know if it'll hold the phone or if it will break with the phone in it, or if it'll even like make my phone crack or not, but it didn't. The overall summary of uh, of the thing. The whole overall summary of my um, phone case is to eliminate the holding of the phone and the stand clamp securely. Um, you can place the stand clamp on anything that you want to. For instance, your bed. Your, well, the bed head, the head of your bed, the headboard. Placing the screen at a comfortable position that don't obscure the user's view. For the conclusion, however, there are things that I wanted to do to them, to uh, to the cell phone holder, that I couldn't. Like, for instance, the back where the camera view at, I wanted to make it smaller, and I couldn't because I was running out of time, and I had to get it done.
and that's it for my presentation. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, spray painted it. Yes, sir. And then splattered it with print the whole case and I printed the handle and the clamp. I bought the clamp from Walmart from a table fan and I just like came up with the idea to make the handle to put it in the clamp where it could like fit to put on the desk, you know, to hold the phone. The fasten clamp, the fasten, the fasten nut is like from the fan. I bought it at, um, it came with the fan that I bought, and that's what I used to like tighten it up and adjust, adjust it to the like. Oh, you talking about the bearing? Oh, the bearing, yeah, I printed out on the, um, the maker bot too. Yes, sir. Printed all in one. Horrible. Yeah.